Hi, I'm Ursula from sofeminine.co.uk and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the perfect red lip. To get the perfect red lip, you're going to need several items. The first of these is a quality lip balm, which is going to prep your lips and get them ready for the products that follow. I'm going to be using Loud and Clear by Bare Minerals, but you can use anything from a moisturiser to Vaseline. The next thing you're going to need is a, is a lip liner. I'm going to be using Rimmel, uh, which is nice and cheap and does the job. You can also use a lip crayon, like this one from NARS, which gives really good long-lasting coverage and high pigment. Finally, you're going to need a red lipstick. I'm using Revlon. Um, make sure that you're matching your lipstick and your lip liner so that they go together and don't clash. Other things that you might want to have to hand are cotton buds to wipe up any mistakes and also some blotting paper um, to take off any excess. The first thing you need to do is to prepare your base. That means priming your lip. Some people have quite dry, flaky lips. Um, it might just be because of the weather conditions, or it might be that you just have dry lips naturally. So the first thing that you'd want to do is to use a lip scrub. Um, you can buy these at plenty of different stores. Uh, I think Lush do a good one. Um, and exfoliate the lips. You can also use a toothbrush or a disposable mascara wand to gently buff the lips and get rid of any kind of excess dry skin. The next thing that you want to do is apply a lip balm. So this is going to just make sure your lips are nice and soft. You don't want to apply too much because that way the colour will slide. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of um, Bare Minerals um, Loud and Clear Lip Balm. You really don't need very much, so just apply a light coat. You can even pat off the excess of your finger. So the next thing that you want to do is line your lips with a lip liner or a lip crayon. I'm going to be using NARS, um, which is a really good high pigment lip crayon which really does last all day. So this makes sure that the colour is going to be in, on your lips in exactly the right place and making sure that the lipstick itself has something extra to hold on to. So as you can see, that already gives you a really nice high pigment colour, um, which is going to form the base of your red lip. The next thing you want to do is, is blot off some of the excess from your lip crayon, and then you want to add the lipstick on top. So I'm just going to blot now. You can also touch up any areas where you feel like you need a little bit of extra. Now you can apply your lipstick. Once you've applied your lipstick, it's a good tip to blot it and then apply a really thin layer of translucent powder which will help the colour stay in place. Then apply a final layer of lipstick, which is what I'm going to do now. Now applying that translucent powder just adds a little texture to the lips so that the next layer of lipstick can hold on a lot longer. And there you have it, the perfect red lip. So the things to remember are prep your lip, line your lip and layer your colour, adding translucent powder in between your layers and don't forget to blot. So if you have any ideas or any tips or tricks of your own for perfecting a good red lip pout, then don't forget to comment below and subscribe to the channel for more makeup tutorials from So Feminine.